Yes, Digital Product Family, hope you guys are well. Guys, this is an absolute banger, right? Very important video, guys. For those of you that are not getting enough sales, you're not getting ranked properly up on Etsy, um, your wallet is just not selling. So watch this video right to the end because I'm going to give you some absolute gems so that you can employ these things, some strategies that the top sellers do that get them those sales. But these are things that you need to employ and make sure you got these in your listings so that you can start getting those sales today, guys. So before we get started, as usual, guys, if you do love digital products, you love selling, you love creating and all of that good stuff, then please hit the like, subscribe, smash that notification bell so you can get more of my videos in your feed. So, guys, without further ado, let's go through this. Now, look, guys, SEO, uh, ranking, getting sales is a science right it's as simple as that it's a science once you employ strategies and put them in place and consistently do them then you will see your listing go up the rankings it's as simple as that now bottom line is etsy rewards sellers if they're selling right bottom line if you're selling then etsy will reward you by lifting your um listing through the ranks now look at this I've just typed in printable wall art, okay? That's the a key, that's a, a keyword that I put in. Now look at this, the results for this is 2,528,000, right? That is one hell of a big amount of results there, right? Now, I will always say, and I keep saying in all my videos, and if you check out all my videos, I, I always say it, niche down, sub niche, right? So, for example, just let me give you a prime example. If I type in flower, right? Flower, printable wall art. Yeah, I'm talking about floral, flowers. That's a kind of printable wall art. So, obviously, it's going to start drilling down to that niche where the printable wall art um, niche or art is going to give me a results of 345,000. Okay? Still kind of a lot. So, what I'm trying to say is, as you add more words, as you go through this, you might you, you niche down. If you're getting into this game, you need to niche down further, right? To give yourself a chance. Um, so I might say rose, right? Rose flower, printable wall art, right? I'm niching down further. The results are going to be less. And that is how you start to build your, your um, rankings. So this is now, we're looking at 19,875. So right now we're looking at 19,875, a good number to, to try and rank in. Now, if you remember, I've shown, I've done videos in my playlist on Wallart about how to find these keywords and how to be able to rank. Now, look, it's, it's for sure something that is necessary and all the best sellers do this. They have some SEO software. Now, I've got three links in my description, but this one is fantastic. Everbee, which I use a lot. And what I do is I'll go through a keyword research. Now, when we do keyword research, and I'll just show you a very quick demo, right? Guys, this is action packed full of strategies and ideas. But when you go to something like a SEO software and you do your keyword research, I wanna look for unsaturated or less competition keywords, right? So if I do something like, you know, and I've done this before, but if I do obviously wall art, right? Wall art as a keyword, right? Obviously that's that's just ridiculous, right? But when I look at that, you know, you can see that wall art, the competition, the keyword score is zero, just as an example. Now, if I add something like, and I've done a video on this, but birth flower, right? Birth flower wall art, and I click enter. Now, what you'll see is, you will see that the number, the keyword score for birth flower wall art jumps massively to 530, okay? Which means that it's a good keyword to rank in. And if those of you that don't know, a birth flower is literally a flower that represents the month that you're born in, okay? 
and I've talked about it before as a, as an idea of doing something. So there's lots and lots and lots of niches that you can get into within wall art, right? But that's just an example of something that's unsaturated at the time of doing the vis video. So keyword research is key. Keyword research is key. And all the best sellers do this and it's necessary. Like I said, guys, it's a science, right? So that's one thing, doing your keyword research, making sure that you're niching down, right? That's one of the things. Making sure that you're actually creating something that people are searching for and actually would like to buy. Now imagine that. Now, let me show you something else. Let me just go back to this search term, printable wall art, right? I wanna show you right now where the top three selling wall art uh, listings are on the pages. Now, as you guys must know how, how it works is, what you have is you have a lot of the ads that, that are up on the rankings, right? So for example, this whole list on page one, right? This whole row are ads by Etsy, right? You can tell because it tells you ad by Etsy, ad by Etsy, right? Inevitably, if you're on page one, they're going to get clicked, right? Those ads will get clicked. But obviously, you pay for ads, right? Let me go down. So as we go down on the page, you can see there's ads by Etsy, so there's a lot of ads that Etsy promotes, obviously, because they're paying for the position. Now, let me show you where the three top selling wall arts are ranking for this keyword, principal wall art, right? Inevitably, they're going to be around the first, you know, one, two, three pages of any keyword, right? They have to be up there because obviously if they're selling that well, they've got to be ranked high. Now, don't forget with wall art, when you're looking at printable wall art with uh, results of 2,528,000. You can imagine how many pages they're going to be. There's going to be loads of pages. So you need to be in the top, you know, few pages really to be able to get those sales coming through. So anyways, let me just tell you, printable wall art, and when I come down, I'll tell you where the highest ranking, or sorry, best selling wall arts are, right? So on this keyword, still not there, still not there on page one, right? So the best-selling one's still not there, actually, right? This one, this one is there, right? And this one is one of the best-selling ones. And I'll show you what it is. Let me just show you very quickly. So where, where we saw it, we saw it entering, you know, towards the end of the page one. However, on other keywords, it ranks higher, okay? So what it is, is for different tags, for different keywords, it ranks there and thereabouts, okay? So this one, and I've touched on this one before, this one makes, although it's on a sale right now, actually, that's not the one. <laughs> that is not the one. I got the wrong one. Okay, so keep going down, keep going down, keep going down. So it's not even on page one for that keyword, for that specific keyword, guys, right? I'll keep going down. For that specific keyword, you see some of the top ones. Let me go to page three. Again, you see on the pages, you see ads by Etsy. Let me go to page three. Okay, you can see this one, the North Prince one. Okay, so we're going to look at, let's look at the pages and how, you know, look, I've spoken about this before and you can see that the ads by, these are ads, right? You know, they have, they have ads on all pages, uh, most pages, and you can see that these, you can see these ads. Okay, let's look at, um, let's just do a little bit more analysis, guys. So, Printable Wallet has results of two and a half million approximately 
And you know, some of the best sellers may not necessarily be on this keyword on the first page. There's a lot of ads by Etsy. Here's a whole row. Up there, here's a whole row of ads by Etsy. So obviously these ads are gonna be clicked on and they're gonna have a decent chance of getting some clicks ho ho probably and some sales as well if they've done everything else right in terms of the strategies I'm gonna go through. Um, but you know, like I said, uh, you know, you may the natural organic ones, the ones that are selling well, may not necessarily for that keyword be there, right? Um, you got this kind of flower market style, these ones that are one of the top three. And then uh, if I go down to the second page, um, so if I go to the second page, you'll see that these uh, the other one that also is, does extremely well on another really amazing seller. I'll go keep going down, keep going down, keep going down. Like I said, it's not necessarily gonna be in the top lot. It's gonna be this one, this feels really well, this vintage French country gallery wall art, which also does fantastically well. Um, that's another that's another good one and the other one that also sells fantastically well actually is a slightly different angle um, and I'll show you it's actually sitting on page three on the specific keyword which is this the faceless portrait right those three are fantastic sellers and you can see that all they're all spread out across like three of the top pages right but you see when you start doing something like this adding a word so that one that I showed you, the flower one, you know, when you type in the word flower, the results go down. So I have 345,000. You can see that um, the ranking is uh, is fantastic, okay? The ranking is fantastic for this. It's very high on a natural organic search. So probably anything, if I click on it, probably anything that has similar kind of uh, a search. Um, so let me just go to analyze right so this one makes 9168 this one listing right fantastic sales because it ranks highly on many keywords now the good thing about when we analyze something using um, ever be let's say SEO software is that when I click the analysis I like to check what good sellers do and I look and see what they're ranking for or what their tags are so you can see that their tags are a lot to do with flower flower wall prints flower art prints flower market flower market London print Matisse print New York Paris I can see that if I type these keywords in this I'm guaranteed that this collection will rank highly right this this but even on under printable wall art which is there also as part of their keywords it came as as in the on the first page too which is amazing out of two how many million crazy amount of millions right um so this is what i'm saying to you you know in this five hundred thousand plus uh amount of listings for this key flower um, printable wall art keyword it came like high on page one and that's why it's selling because it's ranked highly but how do you rank highly which you <laughs> which is what you're asking well it's a combination of things guys check this out out of the three ideas that I showed you right the top selling ones two of them are bundles right people love bundles this is a bundle of nine images okay of flowers no, okay, that's one thing. Second thing is, they worked on they've worked on their title, description, and tags. What you need to do is you need to have a look and see what tags that people are ranking in, and what are good tags to actually try and rank in. And what you have to do if you're new as well, you have to look for the long tail keywords and the ones that have not so much competition to try and rank in. Because when you get started, you build. It's a it's a long game, guys. It's not a quick game. It's a long game. So you gotta be you gotta have your strategies in place. Now, the other thing is you gotta actually sell something that people like. Now imagine you're selling something. You can't just sell anything. You gotta sell something that people there's a demand for. People are searching for. So like I said, you got to use the SEO software. Look at keywords. And see what people are actually looking for. There's no good in saying I like to sell something because I like it. It's not about what you like maybe. You might like it but 
people might other people might hate it so what i'm trying to say is you need to sell people what people actually are looking for searching for actually like that's step one right that's one thing now i got a whole heap of strategies guys i even written a whole thing down because i don't want to miss anything else um now obviously i mean this is obvious but you have to make sure that the quality of what you're selling is fantastic you know like these prints for example they not only have to look good but they need to look good when you buy it as well so when people actually buy it you want to get those comments and those reviews look i mean the other thing is this these mock-ups are beautiful right to actually sell your products now these are digital downloads but when you look at it you look like you're buying a whole like proper print but it comes through on pdfs so what i'm trying to say is you have to sell it you have to sell it and the p images the pictures is what will capture people because they want to visualize it they want to see that this wall like ah oh, that sits in my living room i love the way that looks that will sit in my kitchen and they want to you want to give them the image that how b beautiful look at this in the bedroom it looks amazing these two yeah so not only do you get a bundle which means that people can put different um of these wall arts in different parts of the home so that's one thing but also how good they look in the home how good they look in the living room right you have to sell them the the visual image of the lifestyle and how it looks in your home right and you have to show them what it looks like you have to get close nice images guys you have to have beautiful images mock-ups so mock-ups are key guys get really fantastic mock-ups once they click on your image and they see it and they want to look in now then the work begins right they've gone through the door right the door's open now now you want to sell them now you have to sell it to them so things like this is going to sell it when they look at popularity now when you're starting out you're not going to have this in 20 plus in a basket so for this seller they already got things in place that are helping it like 20 plus baskets people when people look at something popular they want it too it's always a case of the fear of missing out when you see something that has a lot of sales you're, you're like wow this must be good i'm gonna buy this now <laughs> it's one of those now listen pricing when you're starting out is so important pricing i mean get that through you've got to make sure your pricing is correct when you're coming against these big players like this guy uh, like this uh, listing you need to be smart and what i do is when you start out with a listing you need to start by making it cheaper than anybody else right because look pricing does count people do look at price and you need to have a sale you must have a sale on your listing you gotta have a sale guys right and you gotta go cheaper than everybody else look the beauty about digital download you're not really gonna lose much it's not like a physical product where you're actually gonna lose a lot of money actually some people with physical products they go even below how much they actually purchase that product for so they're going to lose money but what they say is let's lose money in the beginning for long-term gains we can gain over years if we just sacrifice maybe a few months of lower you know uh, of selling it cheaper and there's a really fantastic theory with that is that if you actually do this you'll find that also the etsy algorithm will push you up because they like some things that are cheaper when you're starting out you go in cheaper with sales you know the algorithm likes that you're likely to get more clicks don't forget you know because people look at price you know they look at sale price they look at sales people like good deals they look they like they like bargains right so it goes a long way and then you got to look at your title right all these keywords have to be in there you know the the keywords that you're trying to rank for remember they need to be there but you gotta sound like a human you don't want to be keyword stuffing don't be just keyword stuffing it doesn't work anymore no keyword stuffing in the description in the title you know uh in the tags you gotta make it like flow the description has to flow it, sound, it needs to sound like a human the title needs to sound like a human yes include your keywords but don't just put all random words you know next to each other so it sounds like gibberish that won't work either okay so make sure you got keywords that you want to rank in make sure they are there but do sound like a human right the other thing is this you need to market it market your your listing like anything just social media whatever 
get a buzz around the listing so that people can come and check it out and have a look and click on it and hopefully buy right you've got to market this well now right and use your socials if you can use anything you can to actually market it but remember the keywords make sure they're all there because that's what's going to help you rank guys and you need to have a few good combinations and like i said obviously this is a good seller you learn from the best and the other thing I like to learn from is I like to look at, and this is a really big tip, look at ones that are maybe ranking very high, right, on page one, two, or three, ranking quite high, but they don't have many sales or they're not, they don't have a huge amount of sales, but yet they're ranking because they're, they're doing something correctly. And use something like Everbe to analyze them. Look at their channel tags. Look at what they're doing. Analyze their sales. Look at their click-through rate. Look at their images. Look at their mock-ups, guys, because they're doing something correct. So it's not about looking at the big players necessarily. Look at the players that are new into the game, but they're ranking. Because that's, that's a really important one. How are they getting up there? They must be doing something correct, okay? Guys, I got a whole list of strategies. A whole list of strategies. It's crazy. I hope I'm covering a lot of these. But listen, don't repeat also. Like, don't repeat keywords all the time. You know, some people, you know, they used to do like repeat a lot of the keywords in the title, repeat in the channel tag, repeat in the description. And it just sounds like boring. Now, keep it different. I mean, look, Etsy will pick up on the keywords anyway. And the algorithm knows. Right, so you don't have to keep repeating. Like I said, don't make it sound gibberish. Anyway, so when you're looking at description, you want to be welcoming. You want to be clear. You want to tell them. You want to answer these questions. Sometimes people have questions, but they don't want to ask you. Like they don't want to, you know, ask you any questions because they just move on to the next listing. Answer your questions with your listing. For example, how does it look? Here's a mock-ups. How would it be in my bedroom? Here's a mock-up. Here's, you know, it shows you clearly is you know what does a print actually look like here's a close-up image what do you get what do you actually specifically get with your um with the with the with the actual uh, mock-up wait sorry the the listing what do you get here you go so for example this this person has absolute clarity you will have look at this on the right you will have one pdf file that includes 45 high quality jpeg download links of this digital print there are nine links each link has five ultra high JPEGs. They're telling you what you're going to get. They're telling you the sizes in inches and in centimeters. They're telling you the ratios. They're giving you specific information because they know when people buy wall art, they're measuring up the wall. They're looking at how big the size needs to be, where it's going to go. They, you have to be specific. Answer the questions that people are asking in your description, guys. I love that. They're telling you everything. They're telling you what it's for. We design digital art prints for you and present them to your liking, right? For your minimalist and minimal styles, be a great option for decorating your home or you can buy these gifts for your loved ones. They're painting the picture, guys, right? So, you know, this is, this is so cool, right? This is so cool because they answer your questions and it's about answering, especially with wall art. Right? You want to know about sizing. You want to know what you're getting. You don't know about how many. You want to know that information. right? And then you know, when I'm studying something, I look at reviews. Reviews are such an eye-opener. Like These guys have fantastic, fantastic reviews. right? Item quality, item delivery. Um, you want to look at these kind of things. Customer service. Customer service is an absolute biggie. Guys, I can't, I can't say enough. Customer service. When you're talking to the customers, you gotta say, you know, is there anything I can help you with? You know, please put an image of the of the uh, of the um, wall art on on you know, bring it so that you can put it on the photos for the reviews. You know, ask for that kind of thing. Um, say if there's anything else you can do to help the customer. You know, you can ask for a review as well. Obviously, you know, don't spam it. Just keep it. Just ask nicely. Say, you know, if you're happy you know, to review, we'd appreciate it, you know, always be at the most etiquette, be that, you know, say things really nice, be very polite, talk to your customer, treat it like, you know, like it's, it's you know, that, you know, you treat the customer how you'd like to be treated, right? Um, and then what you do is it's about building those reviews. Once you start getting those reviews, it'll start building and that's what you start doing. You start going up the ranking once you start putting all of these things, strategies together. And slowly it builds. It's a long-term thing. 
and in time you can slowly increase the price and start doing other things to it and this is where your profit will start increasing once your ranking goes up you'll see a big jump that starts happening now i want to end it with one of the controversial things because it's everybody has a take on this right and also before i do give you this idea write some comments in the write me a comment uh, what do you think your best strategy has worked for you in terms of what you think work in terms of seo what what strategy do you think work best for you in the comments it's fantastic because then people can have a look and see underneath and maybe get some ideas too but here's one for you which i'm gonna say right i believe this is my own belief personal belief right i think you should off the bat when you do your listing is get some ads right do an advert now the reason why i say that is i'll give you a reason because when you're starting to get your listing right and you're for the first time you're putting all this together you want to actually you know you want to get yourself seen you want to get your your advert you know up there somehow and the advert is unfortunately is the best way of doing it now it'll get you there it'll get you some clicks it may get you some sales it may start getting you a few reviews those things are golden so the ad yes you have to pay for it but i'm telling you it will help spike your listing and it help push it now what will happen is hopefully as time goes on the algorithm the organic will start kicking in but what you need to do is you've got to give that that kind of injection where it can start getting those cells and start being seen so you may be implementing all these fantastic strategies but it still might be a little bit lost when you got a huge amount of results okay now remember with all the things that i've said but i do believe um having ads and this is my own belief everyone has their own idea of how to do this but ads work all right they do work now how long you have the ads that's up to you but if you give it an initial spike up and give it an initial push a leg up and get seen get a few clicks because you know the clicks help with the algorithm they, they see that okay this listing works people are liking it clicking clicking buying you know reviews start kicking in you know and then it starts pushing up the rankings and that's what you need to do guys you want to start pushing it up the rankings and then with all the strategies that i mentioned it will help also lift it guys i hope you like this video and i hope you start implementing some of these strategies today so that you can start getting those fantastic sales and like i said guys if you did find value with my um video please hit the like subscribe smash the notification bell but guys do check out the videos for my playlist where i actually show you right how to create some unsaturated wall art right and some really fantastic idea one of the third top selling one is something which is like a custom design and i've done a video on wall art pet portrait uh custom design it's a really good one so do check it out so check out my playlist guys which will help you also find those keywords and help you rank up for the wall art guys hope you liked the video please take care and i shall see you in the next one